I just wondered if you, are, you know, if you have to stop and think about. You used the word responsibility, which is. Uh, it always sounds so hokey when your school teacher says you have a tremendous responsibility. You know? But did, did you ever say, did you ever take that kind of thing seriously and think, you know, we got to watch ourselves because if we do this, other people will do that? Yeah, we always had to watch ourselves yeah. uh, because if we weren't watching ourselves, there was somebody else out there who was. Yeah. And there was always uh, reporters who would follow us around on tour and always try breaking into our room, catching us doing something. Yeah. You know, something maybe that we shouldn't have been doing. And uh, the whole thing is that people want other people to do nasty things because mm. they feed off it. And then they write, ha, ah, they're doing nasty things. It's mm. like in uh, a, a newspaper in England. I met David Frost the other day. Can I say David Frost or do you bleep it out? Once. Okay. <laughs> I bumped into him in the hotel and he said, here, to really bring you down is a copy of the News of the World. He'd just come from England, he bought yeah. this paper, and there's a big story on the front saying... That's the scandal sheet in England. Yeah, yeah. but it's a big story saying about this group called the Marmalade, how they had orgies with their teenage fans and all this sort of thing. But the whole idea of these reporters going out for months and months, scraping around, you know, lifting up the pavement, trying to see what rubbish there is to write about. And then they write about it as if they're saints and as if uh, everybody isn't talent. doing it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know where the responsibility... I mean, maybe you just should stay at home and never say anything. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the easiest. Or why do people do things just because famous people do them is another question I've never know. been able to figure out exactly.